In this video, we will review the email marketing tools available to you on the listings platform. To access these email marketing tools, you'll either want to go to the welcome common name menu on the upper left hand side and select my cell slash lease listings, or you can access them by clicking the orange search commercial listings button. Once you've done that, you'll log into the listings platform and from there you'll be able to access email on the blue toolbar up top. Once you click on email, that'll load you into your email dashboard. You can set up your preferences. If you have a sent history, so you've sent any broadcast emails, you'll see them here um, in this white box. You can then request a new listing broadcast, or you can send a new need slash want. I'm going to start the process by reviewing how to send a listing broadcast. Go ahead and click on that. Keep in mind there are several different places that you can send a broadcast email. I'm just going to go over the one from the email dashboard. However, no matter which section you select to send an email, a broadcast email on, your process will remain the same. So what I will do is jump you into the screen that will list all the properties that you have active listings at. I just have one, so I'm going to click on that one. Once you hit next, it'll load any listings that you have within the property. I just have one, um, but if I had more, I could select one or multiple. If you do have any flyers attached to your listings, it'll say um, the name of the flyer, but this one doesn't have any, so I get this. This selection does not include any available flyers, so I can't include any. Then I'll just hit next. Once I've done that, it's taken me into the custom information section for my broadcast email. So its system does automatically generate a title for you based on the asset class, the type of listing, where the listing is located, and the square footage of the listing. If you selected multiple listings, this square footage will be arranged for you. Your message is going to pull directly from your public listing comments, but you can make a change to this. You can make a change to the title just by simply selecting on the box and backspacing or highlighting and deleting any information you want to remove. And then I'll just say new listing message here. You can see what that looks like. Then once you've made the custom information changes you'd like here, you can just simply hit next. And what that will do is load up a preview of what your broadcast email is going to look like. Um, and then down below the last step before you can submit the request to send out the broadcast email, it's going to be just to include a message for us at the SEVA staff as to why it should be sent out. It could be something as simple as like four week broadcast, new listing, first broadcast. Um, some other things to keep in mind when you are doing this is that um, all broadcast email rules that have ever existed still remain the same. So the um, listings do need to have images attached to them. Um, you will only be able to send up to four broadcast emails a day, and each listing can go out once every four weeks. Um, so that's kind of why we have that message there. If you've got an extenuating circumstance, you can put that in. But again, it can be as simple as four-week broadcast. I'm not going to submit um, just because this is kind of like a live setting, and it'll go to our queue, and we don't need to do that. So instead, I'm just going to hit this X here to close it out. The next option that you've got available now is going to be to send a need or want. So where listing broadcast emails are sending a message out to the membership about a listing that you have, the need and want is going to be sending a message out to the membership to tell them that you're looking for something. So I'm going to go ahead and just click on that. What that's loaded is the um, form to sending a need slash want. So in here, you can say the um, type of listing that you're looking for. Under property type, you can select the asset classes of the listing or asset class of the type of property you're wanting to look for. For locations, this is going to function just like it does um, in the search. So you could do a zip code. You could do a city. Um, let's just do Seattle. <laughs> um, you can do a county. So I could type in like King County and it should pull up. Yeah, it's right there. Um, you could do all of Washington if you wanted. And then if you were familiar with those old SEBA submarkets and you'd prefer to send them out that way, you just have to type in SEBA and then start typing the name of the submarket that you're looking for. So I knew um, the Ballard submarket was attached to Fremont. So if I typed in SEBA free, Fremont slash Ballard will pull up for me. And you just simply select the one um, from the list below that matches what you're looking for. And then it'll apply it as a location and you can add as many locations as you'd like. I believe I did six before and it didn't take all of them. Um, as far as the title goes, it um, suggests maybe something a little more generic. So looking for X amount of square feet of asset class space. And then in the description is where you'll want to be really specific. So the needs and wants really, um, people are sending those out if maybe they've searched for something on their own already and just aren't having a good time finding it. 
what this message is doing is sending a message out to the membership to tell them what you're looking for. So the more specific you are there, the better tailored the responses you're getting back from the membership are going to be. So just keep that in mind when you are filling these out. And then you'll just hit submit. I'm not going to do that because this is live. So instead, I'm just going to hit the email history back button. What that's done is taking me back to my dashboard. And the last email marketing tool feature we're going to go over today is going to be your preferences. So once I click on that, what it's going to do is show me all the preference settings that I have set up. I don't have any uh, settings set up currently. However, the system did opt you into receiving broadcast emails for any asset class for sell and for lease in all of Washington. You can remove those. Um, there'll be a remove button here and you can take those out. And then you can opt into as many or as few subscriptions as you'd like. The area of interest is going to function just like the location did on the need and want. So you could do the cities, you could do counties, zip codes. Again, if you know those old SEBA submarkets, you could do SEBA and then the name of the submarket again. Um, you select the asset classes that you're looking for and then the type of listing you want. And then you just click add to add them to your subscriptions. Um, and then going down from there, you've got some email receipt preferences that you can opt into or out of. So you can opt into receiving uh, needs and wants daily. You can get them as soon as someone sends them out by selecting immediately opt out completely by selecting never, or you can choose to get those once a week by selecting weekly. And the same thing goes for the leads emails. You can opt out of receiving uh, broadcast emails entirely by deselecting this, and then any messaging from Catalyst, you can opt out of there. As you go down a little bit more, got some additional email settings here. So if there is a different email address instead of the one attached to your SEBA account that you'd prefer these emails to go to, you can type that in here and change that and it will impact the email address attached to your SEBA account, just the email address that the emails from uh, the system are going to. If you'd like to copy someone, so also get them um, to your SEBA account and a different email account, you can choose to do that. Like maybe you want your admins to receive them as well. You can CC them on here and then add them. And then you can choose to block senders. So maybe someone sends you a lot of broadcast emails and you know you don't work with them or what they're sending just doesn't match your needs at all. You can choose to block them. The sender won't get a message that you've done that. It's just kind of refining your settings a little bit more. Another great thing about this tool is it doesn't block them from your actual email. It's just blocking them from sending emails to you through the system emails. Um, and you can choose to remove or add to any of these settings at any time. That's up to you. And that's everything we're gonna cover today for your marketing email tools. Thank you.